No, I'll be able to get out of yours, but I got this thing apart. From what I can see so far, this thing has a lot of similarities to the, um, those new digital email meters I got. Like the one I popped on the cap bank. The same quality components, the same brand backup battery and everything. The same build quality of those, um, uh, digital email Q4s. Little thing in there which must be some sort of chip in the heat sink. Current transformer based this one. The uh, lattice and guy purple ones are uh, hall sensor based. Interesting. Oh, it's going to fill up and take this off. The motor's behind here. Alright. There's where the modem is. There's a modem itself. A bit different than this one. Different company. We've got two other antennas that can plug in here. Silver Spring Networks. We've got the internal antenna here. And we've got an external antenna here, which is optional. Probably for houses out in the middle of the outback, they'll use an external antenna that goes on here. Little tiny coax connector. Tiny micro coax connector, so tiny. That's a male. These two are female sockets. That's the part that makes them either smart and communicate over the network. So these ultra caps, little super caps, back up everything when the meter's not, um, when it's removed. And it's also got the backup battery as well. I might have to show it too much yet because I want to test it. Plug it in. It's got one there, comes out there and there, that's got to come off there. I'm going to take these out. Got a little clicky switch in there which turns everything off when they uh, don't pay a power bill or something. This little relay switch turns your whole house off. Remotely. Get the multimeter, see how much voltage is left in those caps. Now, according to the thing on here, where is it? 27 for the 5th, 2015. Yeah, very recently removed. There we are, very recently removed. I bought my tripod. I forgot about the tripod. I'll do it the old way here. Um, let's see what voltage we get. Measure across these capacitors. See if there's any charge left in them. What have we got here? Seems to be nothing in it. They're flat. Get a good reading on that screen. What have we got here? Uh, dear, dear, dear. Second, four by two. Doesn't say what the ferret rating is though. Yeah, they're flat. No, no voltage in those. Dead as a maggot. All right. The battery's got 3.6 volts. The battery's still good. All right. We've got a KXG series lip on Chemicons. 400 volt, 100 microfarad. Right behind there, we got. Yeah, they're built pretty much the same as the um, email Q4s. 10 by 10 glass, fiber plastic. A big metal lump there, must be some sort of um, transistor or integrated circuit arrangement in that aluminium can. Because it must be the main brains or something or the transmitter. It goes with that and then it stores it in there. It also has a um, wireless area network, CAT6 connector there. Relatively well designed, it got some good clearances between the high and low voltage side of the um, supply on the board. Silver spoon networks here, yeah, different to the, um, again, it's different to the other, other, um, uh, Lannis and Gaius, which is a Zigbee. The Lannis and purple Lannis and Gaia one uses a Zigbee module. This uses Silver Spring Networks. <coughs> backlit, this one's backlit too. <laughs> this one actually has a backlight on it. The uh, purple Lannis and Gaia ones don't have a backlight. I want to put it back together and um, see what functions are on it or errors are on it. Wired up, got a 
quarter savage of a pedestal fan before I thought out. Kept the Chinese Moirat off the uh, joiner off the neutral and used it and re it on the air so it doesn't touch anything mistakenly. So it's safe. Chinese Moirats are useful for that. <laughs> That's what I call them. <laughs> Ta-da! So that can touch, that's why it's more leaded and secure. So it doesn't come off and um short. And see what the config does. <gasps> it's got a backlight. Wow. The bloody Lennison and Gaia ones don't even have this bloody backlight. How good is that? No, I should see you for coming out of that. No. Might have to put a load in it. 240.9 volts. What am I got an ant waiting in that for? Wait a minute. Amps, it said 100 milliamps. What's pulling 100 milliamps? The meter itself? Viewing angle is a bit shit on this. So I'll hold that. Does that mean I've got boost? This is um, in real time. It, it just skipped a couple of seconds. Yeah, the Landis and Gaia ones. You keep pressing this to get the real time on. It's plugged in, safety first, on. 7820 kilowatt hours. Hasn't done much. Something ST good. LAN01. What are like I did with that one for? I wonder if I hold that. Hold both of them. What are there certain functions I can trigger on this thing? No, no functions on the outside. Must be firmware. See? Why well, I've got point zero 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 one amp? What's using the amp? There's nothing connected to it. Something using half a one. Hertz in real time. Power factor is one zero 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 zero. Battery is good. Ant in. Yes. Gotta get the list so what these numbers mean. They'll tell me. On, arm, or off. There is another button inside behind this cover here. I wonder what it does. Oh, I think I turned something off when I pulled the cover off because it's pressed in. No, this is a terminal cover off and it's not telling me anything. On the paper than and Gaia once, there is no electrical connection to this outer bit. This near does have the electrical connection, and it's not telling me anything when I turn the cover off. 3200 impulses per unit. So got the plastic in the factory on it too. 1249, is that the right time? Yep, it's the right time. Hey, what's that? It's got a backlight. Oh, here we go. Hold it down. More features. EMG. TARCF9 supply. That just takes it back to normal. Interesting. Nothing goes out of here there. But there we are, nothing much on this thing. Unplug safety first. That's it. I've also uh, my um, Sam Scum drive arrived. The board's good, I got the other Sam Scum drive going with the bad sectors. I was hoping to use this drive, but yeah, it just goes click, click, it's buggered. Oh well. Still worth file because I needed a new circuit board to get the other drive going again to get my data off it. So no real big loss. Just goes seeks, click, 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 like that. That's all it does. It's trying to get a read off the disc, but it can't. So it's buggered. No big loss. I got some data recovered. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.